Graduation came early today for one Bemidji High School student. It was a shining moment for a young man who has battled challenges throughout his life and faces an even bigger challenge to come. Later this spring, Bemidji High will graduate 336 seniors. Today, though, the spotlight was on one person in particular. Jacob, today is your day. Jacob Kaliri has autism. He's also battling a fast-moving form of cancer. So fast that a surgery scheduled for June had to be moved up to this week. So Bemidji High moved up his graduation as well. It made me excited for the family and for Jacob that they can celebrate his graduation and they're leaving here on a very happy note rather than on an ominous sad note. Holly Nelson is the teacher who helped put all this together. I'm truly honored to be here in Bemidji. This whole school and community came together and put such a nice event on for him and he was so excited and you know it was it was emotional but at the same time it was just so much fun to see it all come together and Jacob has only been at Bemidji High for one year but has left his mark on many I'm very proud of him I'm very proud he's a very hard-working student Jacob is a joyful student he's an encouraging student to other people so just part of our community. For only being here since September, he really is a part of our Lumberjack community. You'll be here in my heart always. Just brightens up every room he walks into and everyone loves him. You'd have to really try to not love him. It, he's great. And now with diploma in hand, well, Jacob, you've made me proud today, walking across the stage like that. You're a graduate now. How's that make you feel? It makes me feel, it makes me feel very proud. Jacob will now take on his latest challenge. He's proving so much that he's an overcomer. I mean, he's, he's really uh, hurdled the, the obstacles. There's a long way to go, but... We know he's going to get there. Jacob was diagnosed a few weeks ago with osteosarcoma, a type of bone cancer. Right now it's confined to his cheek and jaw. His surgery is scheduled for Thursday. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.